One of the things we were supposed to talk about was if we have an area of expertise or anything that we can like share information wise. Um, part of my photography classes, like we actually do go through how light works and that kind of thing, it would take a really long time to explain. So instead I'm just going to talk about the pros and cons of having this expertise and the pros and cons of like being a photographer. Okay, as for the pros, number one is definitely all the new people I get to meet. I love meeting new people and it's really cool when you like just connect with someone and you can like feel um, like you're capturing their essence in the pictures that you're taking instead of just taking some random portrait. Um, that's really what I strive to do every time that I take a portrait. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Some clients and I just don't mix. One time me and my dad decided we wanted to go take pictures of the carnival that happens every year downtown. And so we took our cameras and we decided that our goal was to get free rides on half of the ride. So it was like the last night of the fair. Um, and it was at night so everyone's pretty much leaving at this point. And so our game plan was we'd go up, you know, take some pictures, wait for them to notice us taking pictures of their ride, and then kind of ch ch chat with them. They usually make some kind of comment. I mean, they're all like carnies, so they're fairly outgoing. Like, oh, you don't take a picture of me, or get any good shots, or whatever. And then be like, oh, yeah, oh, man, you know, it'd be really cool if we could take pictures on the Ferris wheel. That would be like awesome. They're like, oh yeah, you can come up here, yeah, you know, we'll give you a ride so we get to ride for free. Um, we actually ended up getting three different rides for free that night, and that was a lot of fun. I would say another benefit is that even when I don't have a camera in my hands, I'm still experiencing my world through a lens. Like, I notice everything. If I'm looking at you, I am automatically, like, looking at the light on your face. Would this make a good picture? Is there any distracting elements in the background? Um, is your shirt that you're wearing, is that complementing your skin tone or is it going to be too busy? Like, I do that automatically. When I go somewhere new, it's ridiculous. Like, something that goes along with that is another pro would be that I appreciate details. I notice if buttons are undone, I notice hands if they're like this, like against your, against, um, your thigh or if they're like, you know, nice and curved, you notice tensions. And so I get to appreciate a lot of the details in life. Another pro is that there's always constant room for improvement. I see myself getting better and better and better with every shoot that I do. Um, it's nice to see that I'm getting better at something, and it's also nice that there's no, like, cap. However, being a photographer really isn't all sunshine and roses. There's a lot of cons to being a photographer. I feel like photographers kind of have a general bad rap about them. Between the paparazzi getting in everyone's business and teenage girls calling themselves photographers and taking black and white pictures of lawn chairs, we don't have that great of a reputation. Sometimes, like when people ask me what I do, I'm really proud of it. I'm like, oh, I'm a photographer. Other times, I kind of downplay it, and I say, you know, I mention one of my other jobs. I'm like, oh, I worked at a scrapbook store, depending on the vibe that I'm getting. A lot of photographers screw people over, especially wedding photographers. But there are so many variables where I can make mistakes. There's so much stuff going into making a photograph, just technically, not even, like, composition or stylistic-wise. Um, if I forget to check a setting on my camera, I can ruin 30 minutes worth of pictures. If I miss the fact that the bride's necklace is, like, the clasp is in front, then I have to spend hours editing that out. It's ridiculous, and it's so much pressure, and you're having to think about all this, like, all the time, on the spot. If something, like, changes, then you have to, like, restart everything, figure out your lighting all over again. And it's even dependent, like, the lighting for the bride is completely different than the lighting for the groom, because the bride's wearing white, and so it's very reflective. So if there's anything around her, like, if there's red chairs, her dress will look pink. If there's a green wall, her dress will look green. Um, the groom, it's different, because his 
tux is usually black and it absorbs a lot of light so the lighting is completely different it's just so many variables another con to being a photographer is that you're pretty much in competition with every other photographer in the area people like get really really competitive about it and one of the worst things for me is i try not to be competitive but i am the one another the another con about being a photographer is my clients. I love most of my clients. Most of my clients are very reasonable people and they're I love them and they're cute as can be and I love taking pictures of them. Once in a while you get a client who you just do not click with and or clients who want their stuff done now. Like right now. I know you took the pictures yesterday but why haven't I seen them yet? Who expect that Photoshop can fix everything. Like, oh yeah, she can just edit that out. No, you don't understand how long that takes. Um, well, a lot of clients don't really understand what goes into the magic and they don't really understand what goes into the images that they see. Usually it's, for me, anywhere from half an hour to an hour and a half worth of editing for every single picture that I put out there. Um, which means that a simple, simple wedding, yeah, that's about 300 pictures total. So photography, like, all in all, is definitely something I love. For me, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. Um, if I could, I would just take pictures all the time of everyone. Um, speaking of, if anyone watching this really, like, wants their picture taken, let me know. I would be more than happy to set up a shoot with you. That would be fun. Um, Sam, I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, but yeah.